Peace and blessings, family. Back again with another one. Always good to chomp it up. Always good to connect. I got the sage burning. Let me let me light this a little more. So I got the sage burning. Get a nice little little vibe in here, so I can chop it up with my family, my soul family. You know. Yeah, here we go. So we got the sage burning. It's feeling nice. So what's on the heart for today? Ah, be able to take a deep breath and just kind of just actually breathe. All right, breathe and, and just be present, be in the nowness of life and just be here, be here with y'all. And so what's on the heart for today is literally about having the courage to observe. Right. I've been doing some meditation throughout the course of the week. And, and this has been a, a running theme, if you will, about having the courage to observe the areas of my life where I want more growth, areas of my life where they may not be the exact way that. I want them to be or areas of my life where I, I, I can grow through, as I said before, or areas of my life that no longer serve me as well as they may have in the past. Right. Um, whether it's an adaptive behavior, something that I, you know, adopted over time as a, a result of maybe just surviving, you know, or maybe a, a compulsive behavior, something that I do maybe just to eke out pleasure or to, or to try to make myself, you know, feel good, relying for things, relying on things outside of me. Right. Which could lead to a whole nother complex uh, situation, right? So having the courage to just sit down and, and see that and, and to witness it, right? But to do it in a manner where I'm not judging myself, which is critical because I, I think it's the self judgment that prevents the observation. I, I look at it and I'm like, man, if like as people, I think we talk more reckless about ourselves than anybody else the negative self-talk the negative self-talk is i believe as as a species is off the hook absolutely off the hook whether it's from a perspective of that we're not good enough or that we're not worthy or we're not this or not that absolutely crazy and all of that negative self-talk keeps us from moving forward and doing the actual examination as plato said an unexamined life is not worth living but what prevents the examination is people ain't want to sit down and, and look at the boogers, right? We don't want to look at the boogers of our life, right? We, it, it, it takes some courage to do that, right? It takes courage. And, and so the way to, to drum up the courage is to do it in a manner where you have just pure love, love for yourself, radical self love and acceptance. Just accept it. Like, Hey, you know what? I'm one of one. I'm beautiful. I'm spectacular. I feel good. And if you don't feel good, put some music on. Put, find something that can get you in that, in that vibe where you feel good and you're able to look at the areas of your life and be like, you know what? I ain't going to judge myself. I'll look at it. And just by me observing, being willing to observe inherently, that thing, that issue, that matter is going to change just by your, your, the attention alone. They say where your attention goes, energy flows. So being able to just witness it will allow you to shift your perception on how you're viewing it and what opportunities may be there or what's seeking to emerge or what you're willing to let go. But it is the it is the courage that's necessary to get to that place. But what's preventing many of us from getting to that place is the self judgment. Hating on your own self, which is crazy. You got there's enough hate going around in the world. I, I honestly believe, you know, those positive affirmations that we say about ourselves are so critical to lock in place our perception of who we are divine, beautiful, creative, free, loving, abundant, prosperous beings, eternal. So, no condition here on earth dictates who we are. All those things are temporal. It is the eternality of our being that allows us to look at these situations and transform them, transform them. Energy never dies. It only transforms, right? So by simply attracting or excuse me, by focusing our energy on those matters, on those issues, we're able to switch it up. We're able to switch it up, but it takes the courage. And so. What are the skills? What, what would I learn along the way, along the journey that I can share to help um, develop the courage to do so, right? To look at those matters. 
there were, I remember I went to a conference with Mary Morrissey just a couple of years back where she talked about like doing a life analysis, right? And initially that kind of kind of daunting, right? It was like, oh my God, we're gonna do a life analysis in a room full of people. But it really wasn't. And and the the, re, the root of it all was no judgment. Don't judge yourself. And so she what she did was she got us all together and she had us look at our life through four different dimensions, right? So your vocation, your time and money freedom, your relationships, and your physical health. I, and I recorded this on, on a previous uh, on a previous uh, episode or podcast, whatever, but those are the four areas, right? And so you look at it on a scale of one to five, what is your level of satisfaction with those four areas of your life on a scale of one to five, one being, mm -mm, ain't mean it, ain't right. And five being like, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm good in this area. And so based off of those rankings, right, you find the area of your life that may be on the lower end of the spectrum where you want, where there's an opportunity for you to do some work. And then once you identify that, you ask three questions. The first question is, how long has it been that way? What has it cost me to leave it that way? And last but not least, when was I going to change it? And based off of those three questions, that, that gives you the, the loving push to just sit there and just examine it with no judgment. Once again, you're just looking at it. But by becoming aware, bring it into your awareness. What you're doing is you're taking back your authority over it. You slowly begin to take back your authority. And, and for some people, it'll happen like this. Because you're in that position now where your mind, your, your awareness is different, right? So that authority may come back right away. You're like, oh, wait, you, you have no power over me. I stand on my own authority. I can release this behavior and I, and I can let it go. For some people, it may be incremental. You may look at it for one day and then come back to it the next day. And notice a small change. You might not get as, you know, emotionally aroused or feel like, ugh, like hurt when you look at it. But it's, once again, it's the practice. And in the practice, there's no right or wrong. There's no self-judgment. It's just by nature of you being a beautiful, creative being, your look alone, your awareness alone can change things. By just bring it into your own awareness. And that's how powerful we are as people. Our awareness, that's why there's so much attention, so much things going on just trying vying for our awareness distractions everywhere we got so many platforms that we can stream stuff on so many devices technologies that can like this hijack our awareness because our awareness is so critical so critical that's how we create our world based off of our awareness and where we put our attention and so with this practice your intention is to become more aware of your oneness with the presence of God. Your attention is focused on those areas of your life where you want to represent more of the essence or qualities of God. That's it. And there's no, once again, you easy on yourself. You hold yourself in very tender, very loving, right? Don't judge yourself because that's going to prevent you from having the courage to look at it. So, that's what's on my heart for this week. I love y'all. I love chopping it up. I love just kind of sharing uh, just things along the path. I appreciate you. And as we always say, if it ain't all good, it just means it ain't all done.